to the tutorial for hands-on 7. So we access the tutorial again on the Open Learn Create page by going on the Osmosis and Flex tool, Course Content, Lecture 8, and Hands-on 7. Please read through this document again. So there's two learning outcomes, learning to add solar power plants and the solar primary supply technology, and wind power plants and the wind primary supply technology. So, to do so, you'll need to add mean sol, mean wind, power sol, power wind. Mean sol and mean wind, the instructions on how to add this are on hands-on 4, so please refer to the hands-on 4 video. Power sol and power wind, the instructions for this are on hands-on 5. So please refer to that video. This was the same case for hands-on 6. Before, however, doing that, I want to show you something. So if we open up the data prep file, we scroll down and we download the data prep for hands-on 7. We open it up. So let's have a look at PowerSoul. A difference that you're going to notice between the other technologies and PowerSoul is that the capacity factor varies depending on the time slice. This is because solar technology depends on the sun and in different seasons there is more sun and in other seasons there is less sun. Please make sure that you copy this correctly. At the same time what you're going to see is that the capital cost and the fixed costs also vary. They reduce through time. This is because it was it is assumed that the prices for solar power technologies, so capital costs and fixed costs, are going to reduce through time. So ensure that you copy this correctly as well. To copy this correctly, we do like in the previous videos where we go onto one cell, we click on Control Shift right arrow, and then we copy so that we copy the whole row. If we scroll down, everything else should be similar to the other videos. It is assumed that there is a residual capacity, so make sure that you copy this as well. For power wind, the case is the same, so the capital cost and the fixed cost also reduce through time, so make sure you copy the row, and the capacity factor also varies. So ensure you do so correctly. Just to remind you that to do Hands on 7, what we do is we go back as normal and create a new folder. We call this H07. We copy the file from H06. Copy. And we rename this to H07. After you fill in all the data for H07, you run the model like before, so that was by going onto program files, click sand, exporting first to the templates to H07, going back to H07, deleting the unnecessary sand interface that is created. Selecting in file in folder H07 the sand interface H07 and selecting those most code. Then we run this file, after which we will get a same screen that has been shown to you in the previous videos, and then we follow on to open up and visualize the results. So the visualization of the results, just to remind you, I'm going to show you the example from H06, the way it was done. You would open up results database, right click, run, copy the path, so control C, control V, forward slash, and then you would add the name of the file, which is ho6results.txt. 
txt, click on OK, yes, 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 and finally yes. Then we go back onto the folder, results template, annual electricity production. So this is the graph from before. And in this case, since we're adding the same data, I'm only showing to you what's the process. Pivot analyze table, change data source, choose connection, browse for more, H06, results database, open. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. Now in hands-on 7 you will also get power soul and power wind over here so make sure you tick those and the results will need to look like this. So refer back to the hands-on PDF and ensure that the results you have are like this ones. So here you can see there's going to be power soul and power wind. Thank you for watching this tutorial. So please refer back to the previous tutorials in order to complete this.